Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at printing this. So, what is this, you might ask? Well, um, this is a little bit inspired by a project Chuck Hellebuck did with regard to a K cup holder. So, what I wanted to do is experiment uh, a little bit with uh, OpenSCAD, and I created some mock up K cups, and then I wanted to do a kind of an interesting holder. So, I created a coffee cup, and I created a stand, and again, you can see here it kind of meets with the stand. So anyways, before we take a deeper look into this, um, what I'd like to do is let's cut to a time lapse of this printing, take a look at the time lapse, and then we'll come back, put it together, and talk about it. So let's cut to the time lapse. So here we are back. We took a look at the uh, time lapse and uh, here's how the printed version works. So the way it works is it just slips into the bottom here. Uh, it's a pressure fit. It actually fits pretty tight. Being PLA I could probably pop it out but uh, uh, I'm not sure it would handle it because I only printed this with about a 5% infill so it's very very light. Uh, I think this is about 3 millimeters. I doubled this at 6. Um, one of the learnings I do have from this is not all K cups are created equal because I modeled one of the K cups and its size is a little bit different. They don't, um, I don't know if you can see this, so you can kind of see how this one is like this in the bottom, this one, you see they have different, so um, actually in the model, if you look on the Open SCAD site, um, and you see how far each one of these ha are, are pressed in, uh, given the same I think they are a little bit different. So I would insert them in the model in the next one I printed a bit further. Now one of the things that I did um, a little bit different than Chuck is this is printed straight up. So this, this as you saw on the bed is flat. And what I did in OpenSCAD is actually tilted these. So when I printed them, this is, this, this is actually oblong. And again, you can see on the opener, I might actually put uh, an overlay on this. Um, I'm also going to put an overlay on the counter, um, how this looks. It really came out good. So again, you know, it looks like a coffee cup. Now, I only did three. It's probably not overly practical with three, other than being an interesting decoration piece. Um, you know, it'd be good to have six. Uh, however, when I created this, I wanted to, you know, print it nicely on a 8x8 uh, eight eight bed. And actually, as you saw, I printed both the cup and this. Now, I thought about trying to get something artistically to come up here and then put two more so I'd get five, but I really couldn't come up with anything uh, at least quickly off the top of my head that looked, I don't know, where it still maintained the coffee cup look because I thought about making some some like frothed cream or something up here and again I might get a little bit more inventive and try to come up with something. It just didn't happen. Now one of the things that I'm thinking about doing is actually laser cutting a much bigger version of this. I've already got a bigger version worked out. Uh, I'm in the process of reworking my laser, but my, my thing is is to take uh, like quarter inch acrylic and cut this out. Now with the laser I'm not, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do the staggered offset like this. Now what I'm thinking about doing on the laser is laying it at the angle that I want and have the laser cut it but then I'm concerned uh, about indexing it back flat so it cuts out flat. So I've got to work some of that stuff through on the laser. But anyways, on this it came out pretty good. In, in the pieces, I, I'm thinking about experimenting with different shapes. But the one piece that I liked is in OpenSCAD, you know, rotating these up allows me to have a straight object that sits like this and doesn't have to lean uh, at all. And it becomes sort of a bit of an art piece. So... I'm thinking about experimenting with some shapes. The other thing I'm thinking about doing is actually CNCing a wood base. So uh, actually take this, uh, set it in the CNC machine, and print it out in a wood base. Because what I'm going to probably do with the laser cut version is design it to go into a wood base. Now, uh, again, since this is only three, you know, to make this, you know, as you can kind of see, I don't know, you know, uh, again, so it doesn't fall over, uh, I had to go kind of big. 
I didn't probably have to go this big, but I was a little bit of a hurry and I just, you know, threw the code out there and, and did it. Um, I could probably make this base a little bit smaller, but I don't think it aesthetically looks too bad. Now, I did FN um, equals 60. I would probably go to 100 to make it more finished. Uh, but again, I, I think this would re look really cool with a stained wood base. And, uh, you know, again, this, this coffee cup. Or else machining the base out of uh, uh, a full-form white acrylic or something like that might be kind of cool. Uh, so I plan on experimenting around with this, and, and thanks to Chuck for actually inspiring me. I've been thinking about this for a little bit, um, but Chuck kind of brought my interest back around with it. So uh, anyways, I'll, the files for this will be out on my OpenSCAD site. The link will be below for this. Uh, if you want to print it out, if you want to experiment with it. Uh, again, when I do the laser version, I'll come back with that. Uh, may even do a CNC version of it, because with the CNC, I can make it really big. So... Uh, Anyways, um, and then also when I redo the tarantula, I can make it 12 by 12. So I think a lot of options for this in the future. Um, but again, trying to make the coffee cup bigger and make it fun more functional, um, you know, with the vertical real estate is difficult because this pretty much took up most of the, the bed um, print-wise uh, to, to do this. So anyways, again, I put some overlays, as I said. And uh, hey, if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. More of this coming in the future. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.